You know, Corrupted Ashbringer, I don't need to hear your whispers along with that of the Lich King. Okay, so can you kind of cool it on the whispers, please? Hi, Darian. His eyes are upon you at all times. By the way, um, little warning for you, for those of you who perhaps listen to these with headphones. It's going to get a little loud in a moment. The horns of war will soon echo across this land, waking the dead and calling forth the scourge war machine. Woe unto those that would stand in our way. You and your brethren will lead the charge, Merleeks. When next I look upon the Scarlet Lands, my sight will be obscured by the legions of Acherus. The march upon New Avalon begins now. I don't think it's gonna come any- yep. Armies of the Scourge, hear my call! The Scarlet Apocalypse has begun! Tear this land asunder and leave only death in your wake! Scourge Commander Thalinor awaits your arrival at the Overhang located directly southeast of our current position. Report to Thalinor and requisition a Scourge Griffin to deliver you to Death's Breach. Prince Valinor will be waiting for you down below. Suffer well, brother! Go forth and wreak havoc. Look how fast I run while I'm in Acris. I love this buff. 75% faster. He has a quest for me. Speak your peace. Within the Hall of Command, you will find the schools of Blood, Frost, and Unholy. Each school has a trainer that can provide you with the knowledge in the various dark arts. I, Lord Thorval, am the headmaster of the School of Blood. Lady Elistra reigns over Unholy, and the Archlich Amalthazad holds dominion over Frost. You must return here when e wherever you gain power and trade. You will have our revenge. Oh, just like that I got a level. Got my Death and Decay. And my chains of ice. And a talent. PvP talent, whatever. I always just grab the passive. It's not like I... The only time I've ever actually, like, gone into something that was PvP and I enjoyed was, like, the epic battlegrounds. Like, um... When I was doing my quest for the Legion skin of Corrupted Ashbringer, I had to go into, um... Um... Um, Altrak Valley. I was about to look it up. I was like, what was it called? Uh, oh yeah. All will serve. The, the, now I get two minions. A ghoul and a skeletal minion to be an archer. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Pretty sure that he doesn't have anything else for me, right? Death nope. Greets you, young one. Okay. Here's one of the Death Knight exclusive mounts. What? I used to like it, but now that I have these mounts, it's like, why would I ever want to use that again? The war has begun, Death Knight. I shall place you upon my finest griffin and deliver you to Death's Breach. Chaos, death, destruction. You will herald in all of this and more. Below Acris stands Death's Breach, the staging point for our assault upon the Scarlet Crusade. You are to ride one of my scourge griffins, located on either side of this platform, and return... Or, and report to Prince Valinor. Do as he says, and you may live to see these lands fall before us. Tomorrow is another day. Every time I hear them say that, it always reminds me of, uh... I, I, 
Like, wasn't that a song from Annie or something like that? And if we want to go back up to Acris, we just take one and just takes us straight up there. Alright. Gothic the Harvester. You're going to see a lot of people here that are in Noxramus, by the way. A lot of bosses in Noxramus are in this starter zone. Which is pretty cool. Because you get uh, some extra little bits here and there. Keep in mind, the first time we encountered a lot of these characters, such as Gar Gothic the Harvester, was in Vanilla in Noxramus uh, 40 Man. And then Wrath comes along, and in the starter zone, all of a sudden we see them here. Now, in lore, the idea is that we did beat them in Noxramus, 40 man, but they're all back. Because the Lich King can do that. Yeah, we killed them all, and he just simply brought them all back. Which is why we then have to face them again in Noxramus in Wrath. Do you smell it? Mmm, <laughs> fresh meat. The scent of Scarlet Crusader wafts through the air. Mm. Oh, apologies, Death Knight. I'm sure that you're not interested in my choice of fine cuisine. Yes, he's telling us he wants to eat Scarlet Crusaders. You are here to work, to lead the charge. Yes, I, yes, I know. The Lich King has told me all that I need to know about you, about you. The time for bloodshed is now. They make their stand now, outside of Death's Breach, futility attempting to push us back in hopes of saving their horses, mines, lumber, and citizens. This will be your first lesson in scourge warfare. Terror! Go to the front lines, south of here, and destroy Scarlet Crusaders. Leave their corpses so that we may utilize them for the Death March. But most importantly, kill the fleeing villagers. Soldiers dying are an affordance, but villagers? That is what strikes fear into the hearts of men. So... Yeah, we have to go kill civilians and because we have no choice how fortuitous is it that the crusade has a stable full of horses a mere stone's throw from this post though they guard it tenaciously an enterprising young death knight could break through their defenses and take what is rightfully his once you acquire a horse from the Havenshire stables, return it to me and I will see what can be done about transforming it into a proper death charger. Remember- Ah! Don't walk away! Remember, it's only stealing if you're caught. Watch out for that deranged stable master, Kitrick. <laughs> so this is how you would get your- first original death charger mount if you didn't have it yet which is not this one that's the red one that you get for doing the whole shadowborn quest line the uh the regular one like the purple one a couple more quests in this area here speak your peace the sky darkeners are mindless constructs with one purpose kill specifically they are aiming to kill any man or woman that they see fleeing Havenshire for their safety of New Avalon. We certainly can't allow those cowards to make it to safety and then take up arms against us. There is one side problem. They use Serenite arrows for maximum range and damage. Serenite, however, is a metal only found in Northrend, so supp supplies are limited. Retrieve those arrows for me and I will reward you handsomely. Cover 15 Tomorrow arrows. Just a reminder, because he, because yes, he said that the you can only get Serenite in Northrend, but do you remember why? Because Serenite is made from the blood of Yog Saron, but it has no, and it, Serenite. The reason regular mortals, mortals, uh, can't use Serenite is because of 
how insane it drives you because it's Serenite made from Yog saron But it has none of that effect on the undead, which is why the Lich King and his entire army of minions use Serenite for armor and weapons because they get all the positives and none of the negatives from using Serenite. Born of the Lich King's victory over Illidan's storm rage in the heart of the frozen wastes, death's challenge is a rite of passage that all death knights must undergo. Seek out other death knights of Acris and challenge them to a duel. They must accept and fight until a victory merges. Go now. Victory for the Scourge. Glory to the Lich King. Fun fact, this actually originally was going to be a PvP quest. Until the devs realized the amount of problems that would actually cause. So, in hindsight, I, I'm really glad that they did not do that. Because I'm telling you guys, I can already tell a, <laughs> come up with, a, you know, and think of a number of problems that would have been caused had they actually stuck with that. I will listen for now. Hold on, yeah. hold on. There's work to be done. What other death knights could I challenge here? There's a couple of humans around here. There's also some human death knight players. Hmm. I like how this guy is a uh, supplies guy. I can sell that because I already have a heirloom neck piece. Oh, another reason I I forgot to mention this. Another reason I chose to uh, have this guy be a dwarf is because there is a heritage armor for dwarves you can acquire, and he may be the closest dwarf I have to getting there because. In order to get it, you are you have to have a dwarf who is 120 and is exalted with um, Ironforge. The only other dwarf I have is my Dwarven Paladin, who's like level 31. So I thought maybe this could this could be a faster way to acquire that. Well, there's only a couple, so I guess I'll uh, challenge this Draenei. Mm. I challenge you, Death Knight. We are done here. You're going down. Remember, no potions. That didn't count for some reason. I don't know. There's another quest down here. Let's uh, come back and do this in a bit. Let's actually try and do some of these other ones down here. <sighs> so of course I have no problem taking down these Scarlet Infantrymen because as I said before, screw the Scarlet Crusade and anyone who works for them willingly and supports them and actually you know supports what they do however uh, these poor peasants I don't want to do this but remember right now I am a mindless scourge who doesn't have his soul so I have to do this This is what I love about playing Unholy. I can just go ahead and spread uh, Outbreak, Virulent Plague, and then my minions can just kind of help take care of the rest. Let's 
get rid of this medic. Medic! It's another medic. Medic! Some will fight back, and some will beg you for their lives. It's too far away. By the way, do you hear the Lich King? He's actually talking to me as I do this. Kill or be killed. No mercy. Because of course he would. There's one of the horses. Kill them all. Stallion. Kill them all. Yo. Yo. Wait, what? There we go. Now for the true test. Can you show mastery over an unbound charger and brutally overtake the thing that you desire most? The horse that you stole has been taken to the realm of shadows. It is there that my dark... Oh, you s stop walking away. It is there that my dark rider will slay the beast and raise it as a death charger. Do you think yourself brave enough to enter the realm of shadows in pursuit of the Death Charger? If you accept, I will transport you to the Shadow World. Ah! Stop walking away! I will transport you to the Shadow World. Once there, seek out a Dark Rider in the open field south of us to emerge victorious. You must slay him, overtake his Death Charger, and return it to Death... I'm trying to keep up with him and return it to Death's Breach. Issue the horseman's call should you succeed. I mean, I already have Invincible. I'm pretty sure I can handle a simple Death Charger. Where are you? There you are. Impressive, Death Knight. Return to me in the world of the living for your reward. You have succeeded where most initiates fail. For that, you will be rewarded handsomely. Yes. Got some 
stuff to sell you. I've got black mushrooms. I don't need cheddar. Alright, let's just go ahead and try and get a couple of duels in here. I challenge you, Death Knight. Ooh, there's an orc. Wait, who am I fighting? This... Which of you two am I fighting? Fighting the orc! Let's kill the orc! Yes. We will ravage this land. Am I killing them too fast or something? It look at that, it's not counting. Our masters will be done. I don't know, maybe the whole having the ghouls out is kind of ruining that. I may have to switch to, uh, blood. Nope, now it counts. What? Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna, for a moment, I'm gonna switch to blood. Death and decay for that as well. Ooh, and I've got blood boil. Yes. If only I had my taunt. Alright, let's see. Blood drinker. Yes, I love blood drinker. Nice way to try and help uh, keep myself alive in certain fights sometimes. When I'm uh, starting to run low on health. Our I challenge you. Fight me! Strangling her to death. There we go, now it's counting. Let me get the right whelpling out. I always gotta make sure I have the correct whelpling. I have all three. Uh for all three specs. I always gotta make sure I have the correct one out, depending on what spec I'm playing. Alright, let's see. You I challenge you. Something. Once I learned how that sequence was supposed was basically supposed to work, blood became more fun, and I was able to more comfortably tank as a blood death knight in dungeons. So my usual rotation, in case you're curious, is of course you gotta build up your marrow rend, which is your bone shield charges. Try and build them up pretty high. Always try to have it at least five. Always try to get it up to you know if you can get to ten max, that's great. Um, of course, this costs two runes, but Fortunately, Blood Boil doesn't cost any runes. It doesn't cost any resource. And this is a great way to spread Blood Plague in order to be able to give you some extra, not only AoE damage, but also some support. Or, um, sustain, I mean. Sustain. Um, and then, of course, Heart Strike, once you get a couple of runes to build up your runic power, which can then feed into Death Strike if you want some more healing, and then Blood Drinker to get yourself some more healing as well, which does cost a rune, has a 30 second cooldown, but you can, but really that's not going to be that much of an issue. And of course, uh, Death and Decay to be able to cause some extra slows and AoE damage. Once I learned how to properly do this rotation, so to speak, I'm not going to say I'm the best Blood Death Knight out there or anything, or, but once I kind of got an idea for this comfortable rotation, it just became more fun and more comfortable. So even if I spend all six runes, I can then be able to do Blood Boil, I have some runic power left over to then do uh, Death Strike. It's just really, really fun, really good. I really enjoy it. Alright, one more duel. Oh, 
Or even, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if I can show you Blood Drinker. Right there. Like that, I'm literally draining blood from him. Give me your blood! Ooh. Oh, the Decree of the Scourge. Report from the front lines, Dragon Blight. I'm just curious if there are any other books down here I haven't read. Huh. I like how he's using the Wargun ability to run on all front, all fours. So it looks like all the books you could read were here. Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a group of, of uh, friends here playing together. Look at this! They all made Gnome Death Knights, and they all had the same mount that you get from Here's the Storm. They're all using the same heirloom uh, <laughs> pieces, and they are all clearly from the same server, the Kargath server. Look at this! You know, this is not the first time I've seen this, where a group of players from the same server will try and get into a line here and try and do some kind of parade. What I find funny is that they usually do this in big cities like Dalaran, Orgamar, Stormwind. Why here in the Death Knight starter zone? I, I don't know. By the way, gnome Death Knights. <laughs> Sorry. It's just hard for me to take a gnome Death Knight seriously, like... Fear me! I am a Death Knight loyal to the Lich King! I'm just, I'd be like, I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. To the victor goes the glory, Death Knight. Well done. The Lich King looks favorably upon you on this day. Trinket that is not better than what I already have. Okay. Let's head back down here. Uh, and what do you say we go f go finish slaughtering civilians, huh? We also got to collect more Serenite arrows. But yeah, let's go ahead and just go slaughter more civilians. Sounds great, doesn't it? I just realized I didn't switch back to Unholy. But you know what? I don't mind. attacking me. Alright, let's go ahead and switch back to Unholy. Just because I like having my ghouls out to defend me in my in my travels. I find Unholy to be good for uh, solo questing because, of course, you're out here and they can just kind of defend you and watch, watch your back. There's an extra quest here and there's a mailbox. Oh, look at that. Now I have 200 gold. Atop the mailbox are several ineligible letters and scrolls. Useless. Perhaps you should check inside. I like how it's like, hey, by the way, you have a mailbox in here. Well, whatever. What this means is that now I'll actually be able to, uh... Do some transmogs if I want. Come then, Death Knight! Ah! Why that lady thought she could take me on, I'll... I, I will never know. Have mercy, sir! It's probably hard to hear him. But I'm glad they puts it there. That he is, like, encouraging you. Slaughter them all. Do it. You know you want to. 
Actually, it doesn't matter if you want to. It's what I want you to do. And you will do my bidding. I'll be like, defend me, ghouls, while I collect these arrows. Do you mind? Bad dog! So one of the main reasons I uh, collected that, I got into one of my other characters and I sent him some gold so that he, that way he could be able to do some transmogs to kind of make it, you know, even though I think this actually would work for a death knight, these spikes, you know, the might set for the warrior, I still would like to be able to have the option to actually utilize some uh, death knight specific transmogs. That's just how I am. It's like, let's keep mogs for certain classes on those same characters. But that's just my own side. I know a lot of people that like to mix it, mix it up. Put, <laughs> I've seen them put paladin mogs on a death knight. I'm just like, um, interesting combination, but okay. All right. In fact, let's go ahead and take a moment. See what options do I have for the moment? I've got either my great helm of the scourge champion, which we get later, or the frost forge. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, the blood-soaked serenite plates. There's some other ones I have here, the Acris Knights ones. That's the one we actually start off with. The flowing saffron drape. Let's go with that for the time being. I like that. I've always loved that one. Serenite war plate. Plated serenite bracers. Gauntlets of Command. The Plague Bringer's Girdle. Greaves of the Slaughter. And then, let's see. Well, that's an obvious one. That's like a default one for Death Knights. There's the rune blade of uh, Baron Riven there. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. Now that's a Death Knight. Behold. Fear me. All right, let's go turn these in. While atop the mount that this character is not supposed to get until Legion. <laughs> or I could just, you know, roll up with this one here. I was so happy when I got this. This was definitely tougher. This was the 10 player one. This was the 25 player one. Ooh. This one was rough to get. Especially trying to solo all of them. Do you feel it? That sensation is raw power coursing through your body. Such a thing cannot exist for mortals. The front lines are now dismantled. The Geist will finish the job and prepare the grounds for Resuvius. We turn our attention now to more tactical targets. Ding! Right. I got my Icebound Fortitude. And, of course, my Anti-Magic Shell. Let's see. It's not gonna matter. I, I just go, oh, I can't even pick these until level, whatever. It's not gonna matter. 
Thirsting a Festering Wound deals 25% more damage and deals 74 more damage to all nearby targets. Plague deals 50% more damage over time and half the duration. Unholy Blight. I do like that. I enjoy this because of the aspect of being able to just kind of um, just kind of walk around and just have basic AoE damage. I will listen for now. The trajectories that they are firing at would have most of the arrows land at or near the Havenshire farm, south of us. Oh, well done, Death Knight. You feed the Scourge War Machine with your deeds. Ah, yes, your reward. As promised. Huh. We are done here. Yes. Chaos. Mernix. The crusade is in frenzy. They have diverted all forces outside of New Avalon to set up a blockade at Light's Point, east of here. They are desperately trying to strip the Havenshire mine of all resources and load the cargo aboard the frigates that they have docked on the coast. Let's stir things up a bit, shall we? Gothic the Harvester, Grand Necromancer of the Lich King, has graced us with, with his presence. He has a gift that he'd like to bestow upon the Scarlet Crusade. Seek him out. Hello, Gothic. Hold on, is there any texts here he has that, that uh, are worth checking out? Apparently none of them I can read. Well, that's a shame. Make it quick. You have fought hard to invade the realm of the Harvester. Wait. Oh, my apologies, Dwarf. Old habits die hard. Valinar sent you, then. I trust that you are somewhat competent. I do have a gift for the Scarlet Dogs. One that is sure to speed up their work in the mines. I have come from the frozen heart of Noxramus to feast on souls and deliver a vicious thrashing upon our sworn enemies. And I'm all out of souls. This device that I'm about to give you is a portable plague spreader. Take it east to the Havenshire Mines and unleash it near the Scarlet Miners working inside. Use it to turn the miners into ghouls and then return to me when you have a small army at your side. I have saved a special place for them in the vacuum cleaner of souls. Yeah. There's work to be done. All right, so we will be doing this little task for Gothic when we return. Stay tuned.